Today, our question is, could you speak about white coat hypertension? Oh my, this is an interesting question because I'm on the other end of it. I'm the guy in the white coat. And what happens? Well, there are people, in fact, many people, it's been estimated up to 40, almost half the people, 40% or more people, uh, the very fact that they are sitting in the doctor's office and with the guy or woman with the white coat and the stern countenance comes by and puts a blood pressure cuff on the arm, knowing that if it comes out high, then there's a whole world of everything from heart attack and stroke risk to lifetime medications. Uh, it's easy to get, get anxious. Or if you're worried about a cancer diagnosis or whatever brought you to the office and they're putting that cuff on the arm and your heart's thumping away there, uh, that pressure um, 150 over 90, good heavens, uh, you've got high blood pressure. Uh, but the person doesn't have high blood pressure. That's just their the sympathetic nervous system cranked up from the anxiety they're feeling about being in the office with the, with the professional who may have bad news for them. So uh, if this is the syndrome where people get, quote, high blood pressure, where the values exceed oh, 140 over 90, uh, and nowadays, uh, that's even a lower number. They lowered the, uh, the numbers of concern for high blood pressure. But to, to have a significantly elevated number just in the doctor's office. Uh, so what do you do? How do you avoid that trap? Because it's so common. Well, if the blood pressure is a very significant concern, in other words, um, if you're a... Um, uh, a young athlete or someone with never had any high blood pressure before, uh, how can the, you avoid getting roped into a diagnosis of this significant disease? Well, first of all, when you go to the doctor's office, uh, make sure no one puts that cuff on your arm till you've been sitting quietly for five, count them, five minutes. If you just walk in the room, the very act of walking raises your blood pressure. And it takes a good five minutes of sitting quietly for that pressure to come down. So if, they, if you sit down and the nurse throws a cuff arm and she's about to blow it up, say, let me sit here for a few minutes. And, and I suggest people just sit there quietly, close your eyes, envision yourself out on a lovely meadow uh, and take a few deep breaths. So see your arteries you know, dilating and relaxing and get yourself in a quiet state before that pressure is, uh, is uh, checked. Uh, if, however, you're someone who just can't do that, uh, and, and sometimes high blood pressure is really significant, uh, for, uh, signifying a serious disease, uh, how do you sort this out? Talk to your doctor about checking your blood pressure at home when you're not in the office. And there's several ways to do this. You can just uh, off the internet buy a home blood pressure measuring device, a sphygmomanometer. manometer. Uh, you put the cuff on your arm while you're sitting quietly. You hit the button, the cuff blows up and comes back down and uh, measures the, your pressure. And the pressures you get at home, first thing in the morning, later in the afternoon, a few days of those readings are far more valuable than what you get one time in the doctor's office before an anxiety-filled appointment. So uh, check your readings at home. That you can do it, as I said, uh, on your own. But also, um, there are devices the doctor can prescribe or just loan you from their office called an ambulatory blood pressure monitoring device. Uh, and this is a cuff that kind of stays on your arm uh, for 24, 48 hours, and it just blows up randomly uh, when, you're, when you're not in control of it to get a window into what's really going on in your, in your blood pressure world there. And so uh, the doctor checking you with an ambulatory blood pressure device uh, is also a possibility of uh, getting some accurate readings. So if you're concerned and you just can't get that pressure down and relax uh, in the doctor's office, uh, talk to your doctor about checking those readings at home if they are significantly elevated. If, you, if you've got 170 over 104 in the office, that's a serious pressure. Now, is it just white coat hypertension or not? Uh, you're definitely a candidate for uh, having that pressure checked at home, either with your own device or the one the doctor loaned you. So, uh, so do whatever you need to do to uh, get away from those white coats, which is why I don't wear a white coat in the office anymore. Uh, but, um, but you should just take your pressure out of the office and you'll get much more valid readings. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format 
for our Q&A with Dr. K. Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.